shoot, did I press the record button? I don't want to go check because then I, I feel like I'm out of focus right now. Oh my god. Okay, yes. We recording. Hello everyone, my name is Sam and today I'm going to be doing a hair care routine and it's also going to be a how to get your hair long, how to grow out your hair very long in like a short period of time because I chopped all of my hair off about three years ago but it only took me a year to like grow it back out to the length that I wanted. Right now it is very... It's very, very long. This is weird. If you want to see how long my hair is, I look freaking weird. Ugh. Is this pretty good? These are my hips right here. So it comes down to about the hipple area, the hip range. I'm going to show you how I grew it out so fast because it took about a year. And I'll show you all the products that I use in my hair to keep it healthy. Let's get started right into this video. Okay, first things first, I don't take showers. Like, I don't, I do take showers. I don't wash my hair every single day, though. I started doing that right after I got my hair cut, and it has helped with my hair so much. My hair hasn't been dry. Right when you start doing that, your hair is going to be very greasy and oily and just gross, like, just not cute the first few days. And you just gotta, you gotta power through. And that's why I think the best time to do this is over the summer. And at first, if you're washing your hair every day, first start out washing it every other day, like, tone it down to that. And then just keep going less and less until you're like comfortable with the amount of times you're washing it a week as long as it's not every day because then you're just stripping your hair of like the natural oils and it's just not it's not healthy for your hair i personally wash my hair like twice a week which i know sounds kind of gross but it's not that bad i do still take showers take the showers don't wash the hair don't stop taking showers just stop washing the hair. Sorry this video does have a lot of Redken products in it. I didn't mean to but it's just every time I go get my hair cut and stuff the lady who cuts my hair always recommends them for me and then I always end up getting them so that's why. And I know they're really pricey and expensive but they I've definitely seen a difference in my hair when I started like washing my hair with Redken shampoo. Like, I've noticed a difference. It's a lot softer, it's a lot nicer, and I've noticed a difference. When I'm first in the shower, I always start with washing my hair. But first, I go under the faucet? Is that what it's called? The one, like, up... Shower head. Okay, so I go under the shower head. And I make sure my hair is wet. Sopping wet. 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 That just makes it easier for your shampoo to lather. So then you're not going through shampoo, especially if you're using Redken or more expensive brand. You don't want to just keep blowing through it because that will not be good at all because then it'll just be wasting money. And I put, when I use the Redken, I put about a quarter. Is that a quarter? I put like about a quarter size, like the size of a quarter in my palm. And I just lather it in my hands and then go straight onto my hair. But... Before I even do that, I use Head & Shoulder Shampoo, and it's in the Green Apple scent. And this is for dandruff, so it really helps to moisturize my hair so that I don't get, like, flakes. And especially if I'm not washing my hair every day, I do get flaky easier. So I use this first before I go in with my actual shampoo. This is kind of weird, but, um... So the shampoo that I use every single day on my hair is... The Redken Frizzismus Sulfate Free Shampoo. And like I said, I put a very small amount and I lather it up in my hands. And then when I wash my hair, I use my fingertips and I like massage my scalp. And that does stimulate hair growth. So be sure when you are shampooing, just take your time while doing it and really like massage it into your scalp. That will stimulate hair growth and it will make sure to clean your scalp really well. 
when you're shampooing, be sure to just get the shampoo on the ends of your hair too. Bring it down, make sure to suds up the ends. Don't just focus on the scalp because your ends is what soaks up like nutrients and things like that. And also if you have dead ends, it won't do that. But yet again, I only go to get my hair trimmed like once a year just because I don't want to waste so much money on literally just getting my ends cut off. I don't really find getting your ends trimmed often is like that big of a deal, which I know for some people it's like a necessity and they like always get their ends trimmed, which if you do then that's fine, but personally, if you're trying to grow your hair out and you just keep cutting it, it's not really it's not really going to grow. Words of wisdom. So I use that every day and then once every 2 weeks I use this Redken Hair Cleansing Cream Shampoo. I use this because it removes buildup. You need a strong shampoo that will really cleanse out all the dirts and oils, and especially if you're not washing your hair often. And if your hair has buildup in it, it won't grow as fast. So it's nice just to remove the buildup with a strong cleansing shampoo. And don't use this too often because it will dry out your hair and it'll not be cute. Next, like what I always like to do is no matter what shampoo I use, I always use the matching conditioner because you know when you go to the store and there's like a matching, there's like a shampoo and it comes with a conditioner? No matter what shampoo you use, I would use the matching conditioner with it because they're made to complement each other. They assume that if you're going to use the shampoo that you're going to use a conditioner, so I usually use the same conditioner and this one is just for this is just the Redken Frizz Dismiss conditioner which is the exact same brand exact same like line of the shampoo that I use. One tip is while you're in the shower and you are conditioning your hair condition right after you shampoo and make sure to get it in the ends everywhere and then what I do is I don't rinse it out right away I give it time to like soak in and also that will just really help with brushing your hair afterwards so it will make it not so tangled and everything and it makes your hair healthier so I just let that soak into my hair and then while I'm letting it soak I will either shave or just wash my body, wash my face and I'll give it time to soak in and the very last step that I will do is rinse it out. In the water I use, I do not use really hot water because I don't want to be scalding my scalp because that would be painful as frack. But I don't use super cold water, I just use warm temperature water when I do that. And I know some people use cold water, but it just does not sound fun. Most of the, like sometimes, at the very end of my shower, I'll turn the water on super cold and I'll take all the ends of my hair and I'll just put it under the faucet just to kind of lock in everything that I did to it. And then when I get out of the shower, I will just take... A towel and I will towel dry my hair and this I feel like is the most important thing about my entire hair thing like growing it out and keeping it healthy is I wash my hair at night and I do not blow dry my hair I just don't blow dry my hair at all and I feel like that's helped a lot with growing it out it makes it grow super fast and it doesn't expose your hair to like damage. But sometimes I will wash my hair in the mornings and then I need to blow dry it in the blow dryer. I do use is this Hot Tools blow dryer. And whenever I do blow dry my hair, I do not turn it on the hot setting. I keep it on the warm setting because the cold just takes forever to dry my hair, but I turn it on warm setting. Before I even blow dry, I make sure to spray heat protectant in my hair. I have this Redken pillow proof blow dry express primer and it's supposed to be time saving so I will either use this or I just spray in a regular heat protectant which I use this chi or Katonic hydration interlink very odd name I will use this before I flat iron curl all that stuff to my hair I make sure to put it on really well because you do not want to damage your hair and I just try not to use heat on my hair as much as possible. The more you don't use heat on your hair, the more your hair will grow, like the faster it will grow. So if you're really trying to grow your hair, don't use heat. And also if you take your shower at night, you just hate taking showers at night, you don't like sleeping with wet hair, you can put your hair in a very loose braid 
I wouldn't tie it at the ends because that could break off your ends, but if you like, if you have to tie it, tie it in a ribbon or something just very light and like delicate so that your ends won't break or anything like that. Also, before I blow dry my hair, right when I get out of the shower, I will spray my hair with a leave-in conditioner. And I have three right here that I like. This one was really nice. It's the Redken One United. And I spray this all over my hair before I blow dry, before I go to bed, mainly before I go to bed. I'll spray that in my hair. Be sure to get it on the ends. I also use, it's a 10. And I don't use all of these at the same time. I usually choose between one. And I'll also use this Redken Frizz Dismiss I, it's like a little sample size, but it's the Redken Frizz Dismiss. It matches my shampoo and conditioner. So I'll choose one of those three, and I'll be sure to spray it very evenly all over my hair, either before I go to bed or if I am blow drying it, then I'll do that before I blow dry, and then I'll spray in my heat protectant. And another thing is I do use oils on my hair. Like, I have this Marvelous Oil from Garnier Fructis. And it's the Frizz Defy. And I also have a little sample size of the Frizz Dismiss Rebel Tame. And I will choose one of those. And what a lot of people do is a lot of people put that in their wet hair, which is fine if you're going to bed. But if you put it in your hair before you blow dry it, like I just learned this recently. If you put it in your hair before you blow dry, that's not very good because it's like oil and heat. Actually, funny story, my brother caught our house on fire with oil and heat. That's that's another story. So most of the times when you mix heat with oil, it ends in fire, not good. So that is why it makes sense that you don't put it in your wet hair and then blow dry it because that probably won't end well. Like you won't notice it, but it's just not the best idea. Also, what I think has like saved my hair... It's actually my wet brush. This thing is amazing. It brushes through your hair so smoothly and so nicely. It does not rip out your hair. It is not damaging. It's amazing. Like compared to the last brush I used that literally would rip out my hair. This is amazing. And whenever you brush your hair, you always start at the ends and then slowly work your way up. I'm sure you guys all know that, but so that's how you can brush your hair without causing any damage and stuff like that. Yes, so this brush is another thing that I love. The biggest thing to wanting to grow your hair out definitely is not using heat and also really massaging in your shampoo and leaving your conditioner in. Like, all of that can really, really, really help. And also, like, a hair mask once in a while could help. I don't have any hair masks with me but I have used some and I have made some or if you just like search on like Google or something like hair masks to use and you can make your own and they're super easy and you can just let that soak into your hair and it helps a lot and also it's hard because so many hairstylists are like saying you need to get your ends trimmed constantly but with my hair what I've noticed is when I cut my hair super short and I was like heck to the no there it is right there. And then this was like a year later. And then this was two years later. So right when she cut it short and I was like, oh, <laughs> no. So I did not get it trimmed or anything since that first like haircut. And it grew so much. So I feel like getting it trimmed, it's it's really only it's really only setting you back. So in my opinion, I would personally not get it trimmed. Don't worry about that. Also, funny story is I have never dyed my hair ever. So that might also be a contender as to why my hair is healthy in the way it is, but if you dye your hair, then be sure to just buy the right shampoo for you and just take really good care of it. But yeah, that's my entire hair care routine. That's everything I do to keep it healthy and to keep it growing. And yeah, it just helped a lot. And my hair has grown a crap ton. I actually just got four inches cut off of it. It's literally like my freaking wingspan up in here. Do you see this? But yeah, I just got my ends trimmed. I got four inches cut off of it. So it was 
a lot longer. I'm thinking about cutting it soon because it is, it is a lot to deal with. But if you are looking to grow your hair out, then just take what I said into consideration. And I know not everyone's hair is the same, but this is everything that has helped me to grow out my hair and keep my hair healthy. And it's what I do almost every day and it has helped a lot. So if you found this video helpful, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, then be sure to subscribe and I will be posting videos frequently. So if you are subscribed, then I'll see you in my next video. Bye!